All right, I greet you all. I greet you all. Um, welcome once again to this broadcast. Uh, it's a dialogue, a friendly dialogue that I will be having together with my friend, uh, Umaya, who will later introduce himself. Um, this is, we are debating on the topic of the satanic verses. It's an allegation uh, that at one point uh, during his ministry or his prophethood in Mecca, Prophet Muhammad, uh, who, who my Muslim friends believe is a prophet sent from Allah, uh, at one point did speak words that um, were led or rather Satan slipped some words into his mouth and he spoke them uh, thinking and believing that they were words of God that he had spoken but later on uh, they were denounced um, and that is the topic that we will be uh, debating and I will be affirming uh, that indeed there were satanic verses uh, revealed to Muhammad and I will try and prove that from uh, Islamic sources and my friend will also come in later um, and um, debate on the same and he will give us his position. But before we begin uh, our timer and we begin our topic, uh, allow me to introduce him and give him an opportunity to introduce himself and he will uh, tell us who he is and um, uh, probably give us a little bit uh, on what he's going to talk about. All right, Umayya, it's your time. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. Wa najmi idha hawa ma dhalla sahibukum wa ma rawa wa ma yantiqu anil hawa in huwa illa wahyun yuha. Dear brothers and sisters uh, in Islam, what I have just read to you is verses from Surah Al-Najm, the first until the fourth ayah. And before continuing, it's good if I introduce myself. My name is Umaya Ali. I am a Muslim apologist from Kenya. It's my fifth year since I started apologetics. This is uh, my second time in debate with Mr. Mwali Muchaka, who, who is somebody who came out of Islam. In Islamic terminology, we call him Amor Tag. So, Alhamdulillah, today the final day has, has come, of which we will debate. Stay tuned to our debates for purposes of knowledge. That's all. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh... Once again, for those of us that are following, we are debating on the satanic verses, and I will be starting uh, our time. Um, it is we take, I'll take 10 minutes to establish uh, this fact, and then my brother will come on um, and, and also uh, pick up the mic. For those of you who do not know me, my name, is, as Ali said, is uh, Malim Chaka. Um, and um, it's an honor and an, an opportunity. I thank God for this opportunity. So my time begins now, my 10 minutes. I thank God for, uh, for you and for everyone else. Uh, thank you, Ali, for accepting to uh, debate on this topic. Uh, allow me begin by saying a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for an opportunity that we can come together and even uh, dialogue in a friendly way. Um, and so, and I, I believe that it is an opportunity that you had ordained for us. I pray that even as we talk of these things, they will not just be words, but Father, that your spirit of conviction will convict us, even uh, concerning your word in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, um, Islam strongly opposes the idea of idolatry. You know, idolatry as was known in the Arabian Peninsula, or polysation, uh, shirk. Uh, Islam says that the greatest sin that Allah cannot actually forgive is the, uh, is the sin of associating uh, a God uh, with, with Allah. Um, so the Islamic creed begins by saying, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. There is no deity, there is no other God. Uh, apart from Allah 
um, so Allah is the only God that is worthy to be worshipped. Now, this is in the context that in Arabia back then, the Arabs uh, are reported to have worshipped at least 360 gods and goddesses. Um, chief among them was, um, um, and, and that's why the Arabs used to say Allahu Akbar, meaning Allah is greater than. He is greater than Al Uza, he is greater than Amanat, he is greater than uh, 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 Alat, he is greater than Hubal, and all that. So they worshipped all these gods and goddesses and the, the angels and the, and the jinn, believing that they would bring them closer to God. So these were like intercessors. They were gods and goddesses that were supposed to intercede for the people as intermediate intermediaries between, you know, the people and Allah, who is Allah Akbar. So in their mind, Allah was a male god. In the minds of the pre-Islamic Arabia Arabians or Arabs, Allah was a male god, and he had a counterpart who was Alat. Um, and some people, some scholars believe that these were the daughters of Allah. Both Alat, Al Uza, and Al Manat were daughters of Allah in the mind of of, of, the, of the Muslims. So, uh, so these were the predominant gods and goddesses that were being worshipped in Arabia. So they knew Allah. In fact, the Quran says, if you ask them who, who does this and this, who brings the rains, they, they will tell you it is Allah. So they knew Allah. In fact, Muhammad's own father was called Abdullah. And so it was not a new god that Muhammad was uh, bringing. Um, so in the shrine of Makkah, the Al Kahaba, they had so many gods, and each god represent each clan had their own gods or goddesses. So when Muhammad comes, as we read in Surah 38, verse 4 onwards, he comes and proclaims all these gods or goddesses to be one god, and that's why the Arabs proclaimed and said, "Oh, he has made all the gods to be one." You know, they, he, they wondered how can uh, uh, Muhammad then claim that all the gods and goddesses were one. Now, they, as Muhammad began his ministry, he began by preaching against shirk, against polytheism. He began by preaching the message of one God, calling his own Qurayshi people, calling his own Bani Hashim people into the worship of the one God. And as, they, as, as he began having a small following, uh, there was a lot of persecution. When he went to Taif, for example, we are told, uh, according to the Sira, that he was, uh, he was stoned. In fact, and he, the prophet goes into his grave without some of his teeth because he had been uh, of, of the stoning that he had received. And so during that occasion, as suffering continued, the, Muhammad reached a place where he had to allow his... Uh, small followers to flee. A group of about 80 Muslims fled to Ethiopia, Abyssinia, and they were received by the, uh, the Christian kingdom of Ethiopia by a man that has been known as Najas, who, uh, uh, who was uh, a, a ruler at that point. But then as these people were in Mecca, something which I would want my, my, my brother to respond to, as they were in Mecca, news spread that uh, the whole of, uh, I mean, as they were in Ethiopia, there were news that spread that the whole of Mecca had converted to Islam. And therefore that whole group that had left uh, Mecca uh, in, in haste, so, uh, fearing for their lives, decided they were going to come back. But as they came back and got to Mecca, they realized those news were not true. They were shocked that uh, the news that they had received, that Mecca had actually, uh, the, the, the Meccans had prostrated when the, with the Prophet and praised him, uh, they, they were not true. But what was the what was the fact? And then now they had to flee the second time, led by Uthman bin Affan. Now, uh, before I go to to the story of what led them to flee, we read in Surah Al-Najm, which which my friend began by 
uh, by stating. He said, uh, and allow me to read, that is chapter 53, um, just to introduce the topic. Chapter 53, and uh, it's called Suratul Najim, and there's a connection between Suratul Najim and Suratul uh, Kamal, which is the, the next one that is uh, it's following. Now, in chapter 53, verse 1, let me begin there before I go to the point. It says, by the star, when it goes down, your companion is neither astray nor being misled, nor does he say out of his own desire. It is no less than inspiration sent down to him. He was taught by the mighty in power. And so it goes on to say that whatever that Muhammad is speaking, he is not speaking by his own volition, but he is being led by, uh, by, 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 by the one that is teaching him. Verse 5 says that he is being taught by one mighty in power. Well, some interpreters interpret this to be Jibril. Now, if you go to verse 19 and 20, uh, which will make really what our point is on tonight, have you seen Lat and Uza and another, the third goddess, Almanat? What? For you, the male sex, and for him, the female? Behold, such would be indeed a division most unfair. These are nothing but names which you have de devised, you and your forefathers, which Allah has sent down in authority, whatever. So the, 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 the whole issue goes on to say, so have you seen Allah and in, 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 uh, in Uzzah and Manat? So it is alleged that as Muhammad was reading this, as, as he was reading that, have you seen uh, Lat and Uzza and Manat, uh, originally, uh, Satan intercepted his own words. And those words were exactly, these are the exalted cranes, or intermediately. These are the exalted cranes, intermediaries, uh, whose intercession, intercession is to be opt for. So when Muhammad prays these uh, go gods and goddesses, if you read up to the last verse of this chapter, the last, the very last verse of this chapter, which is uh, chapter 60, verse 62, it says, But fall ye down in prostration to Allah and adore him. It is said when uh, Muhammad reached at this conclusion, then uh, all of the Meccans, all of those people that were there with him, fell down and uh, acknowledged, uh, acknowledged, um, ac ac acknowledged the, the, the beauty of this verse. They praised Muhammad because for the first time he had... Uh, he had praised their, their gods. And you can read this story in the book of uh, Siratul Rasulullah, which is uh, the, the book of uh, Ibn Ishaq, as translated in English by uh, Gulom, Alfred Gulom. Uh, you, you can actually read this uh, story, on, uh, which is in page 114 on Gulom's translation. It is also, uh, it has been recorded by a Tabari, uh, and later on, I will be going into um, other places in Sahih, Bukhari, and Muslim to show that indeed on this day, all these people prostrated when, when Muhammad read these verses. But one thing that I would want to stop uh, at, at this moment is then allow my brother to, during his time, he will tell us why these um, followers of Muhammad came back from, from, from Ethiopia why they came back, what news they had had, and why these guys uh, in, in Mecca did prostrate uh, together with the Muslims, together with, uh, with the Prophet Muhammad when he read Surah Al-Najim, despite the fact that they had opposed him all through. I think that uh, sums up my 10 minutes. I'll allow my brother to take on from here. Hello? Yes, sir. It is your time. Are you getting me? Yes, I can get you. Okay. Okay. Is my voice clear? Your voice is very clear, yes. Sure. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Your voice is clear, sir. Go sure, it's, it's very clear. All clear? Yes, your voice is clear. All, all is clear, right? Yes, sir. All, all clear. 
Yes, sir, you are clear. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. You are clear. Okay. Sir, so, sir. So, you start counting from now? Yeah, I'm counting. It's now on 31, so you go to 41. Okay. Sir, so, sir. So, my respected brothers and sisters in Islam, we've already seen how Mr. Chaka has had the but now he's Hello? Yes, sir. I don't know what you're doing, but just go on. I don't know why you... Okay. Getting. Hello? Yes, I'm getting you, sir. Go ahead. Okay. So, my brothers and sisters in Islam. Alhamdulillah, we have seen what Mr. Chuck has uh, talked about. He mentioned about Allah. I, I don't know Allah. Allah. Uh, a counterpart of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I don't know from which authentic source he has gotten that there is no booking is Allah uh, God's counterpart Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent his prophet to, to come and, and all these gods la sharika lahu fil mulk Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't Twenty-two. Wama 
مطول إلا نحيي إليه أنه لا إله إلا أنا فاعبدون and you can see also in the in the gospels in the book of Isaiah in the book of Mark that God is only one I think I have made myself clear up to that point is that it mentioning the fleeing to a baby senior yes Muslims are to flee to a baby senior since they are being attacked by the Quraysh Therefore, Allah subhana, therefore the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told them to go and seek a refuge in, Abi, in Abyssinia. Okay? Now let, uh, let me go to what Surah Al-Najm says about. To what Surah Al-Najm, the connection with the satanic, the alleged satanic verses. Hello? I, I can hear you. I'm following. Hello. I'm following you, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. I can hear you very well. And I'm following you. Everything. Yes, sir. Everything I've said clearly. Yeah, clearly. You are clear. Okay. So, so. Then after there, it comes the story of Surah Tun Najum. I'm beating you. I, I, I recited verses of, of the Holy Quran. Okay. Okay. So, so Surah 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 to Najm. So Surah to Najm says like this. سبحانه وتعالى سيز والنجم إذا هوى ما ظل صاحبكم وما غوى by the star when it goes down your companion is neither astray nor being misled okay so already the has has angel with the Quran itself the Quran itself has Story. And I, as I told Mr. Chaka in the pre-debate that he has already lost the, de the debate. Okay? Because the Quran says in chapter 53 verse 2, your companion is neither astray nor being misled. Ma dhalla sahibukum ma dhalla sahibukum wa ma gawa Your companion is neither astray nor being Mis misled okay Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says again in surah to shu'ara remember this is the holy quran which is defending the holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam let us go to surah ash-shu'ara and see Are you still there? Okay. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Shu'ara. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Shu'ara. Huh? Mm-hmm. وَإِنَّهُ لَتَنْزِيلُ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ نَزَلَ بِهِ الرُّوحُ الرُّوحُ الْعَمِينَ عَلَى قَلْبِكَ لِتَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُنَ الْذِنِينَ Verily, this is the revelation from the Lord of the worlds. With it came down the truthful spirit to thy heart that the, 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 thou mayest admonish. Okay, so Allah shows that, that, that this book has come from him. Okay? Not mm -hmm. from anyone else. Okay? And Allah has said in Surah Tul uh, Isra, chapter 17, verse 88, both the genes like Satan and men cannot pr produce the like of this Quran. Got two yeah. more minutes. 
Okay? So I'm defending it to using the your Quran. Okay? Okay. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Okay? Sure. This holy Quran, the, the Shashatin, the devils did not bring it down. In the same same Surah to Shushu Ara, chapter 26, verse 210. And the verse continues, I shall be reading the translation, which says, It is not meant for them, nor is it in their power. It is not meet for them, nor is it in their power. Verse 212, which I, I shall stop. Indeed, they are banished from hearing it. So the devils are even banished from hearing the Holy Quran. Just read. Make it your project by reading. Chapter 26, verse 210 to 212. It will show you that the devils are not even they are to hear the Holy Quran. Yes, so how can they bring it down? Okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Fusilat, chapter 41, verse 42. min Okay? Alright, thank you. Okay, let me finish it. You, your time is up. Okay, we can add you one more minute. Which, which is just, just, just a minute. Okay. You will add me some time because of the connection. So. Yeah, that's why I added you. You were supposed to finish by 41. But anyway, go yeah. ahead. Subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا يأتيه الباطل من بين يديه ولا من خلفه. Let me read the translation to speed up. Which says, no falsehood can approach it from before or behind it. Yes, nothing, man, nor anything can approach this holy Quran with falsehood. It is sent down by the one of wisdom, worthy of all praise. So now, as I, so now, I've already defended my my case to the in the holy Quran. If you have any doubt, Mr. Chaka produce a verse similar to the holy Quran. Okay. In fact, even the linguistic meaning will, will not even fit. Because right. in Arabic, if you read it, just um, a minute, okay? In, in, uh, in Arabic, it's in a thing. It's 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 Yes, so the, uh, this, uh, this word praising the gods has come in, 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 in about four different versions. So we have to s s study this thing collectively, not, okay. not just taking only one part of this story. All right, your, 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 your time, is, your argument, time, your time story, is up, so you can come up later. Minute. For the sake of argument, this story, we, we insert it in, in Surah al -Najm. It, it will still not fit the case. And I know Mr. Chaka is somebody who, who doesn't know Arabic. You will, the one who you will, will understand this is the one who will understand you, Ara, Arabic. You will come Most later. You will same, come same same later and... Uh, surah decides it's God. Okay. You will come later uh, and uh, prove, prove your so case. You, so if you try to, to, to put this uh, verses inside the Surah, it will... The ayah which... which uh, Goes against this Umaya Ali. We contradict the whole story. Umaya, and, and I think Allah's words don't contradict each. Oh, all right, Allah. I think you've made Allah your. Allah says, "Afalaya tadabaruna al-Quran, wa lau kana min andi ghairi Allahi, dawadu fi ikhtilafan kathira." I think you've made your case. You've gone beyond your time. Is that okay? Which is lisan al-Arab. Let's see what Lisa al Arab. No, says. no, 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 no. You will, you will come okay. with with your time. Lisa al Arab says, "Sir, just a minute. Just a minute. I am finishing with no, this." No, 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 no. You can't. Okay, I am finishing with this. Okay. Okay, I am finishing with this. Now you should have asked for twenty okay. minutes then. Okay, which is a type of bird 
of which the mushari rikini used to 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 say that they are gods are like this but of whom go to allah to intercede for them yeah this one is is found in lisan al arab and all the best sources of islam should show that it it was never a revelation chaka is just reading from translated nations instead of bringing books by classical scholars okay and and then he asked why the abyssinians came back chaka read the book the, the life of muhammad by muhammad hussein haikal the muslims they returned to makkah because of a, a revolution which which happened in abyssinia okay so they didn't return because of the quraish allegedly accepting islam in fact all these stories the chains of narrations are are, are weak and don't uh, say say anything which is sen- sensible this is the view of many scholars of islam i will finish by quoting ibn kathir which says all the chains of narration of this story are either weak or disconnected tafsir al quran al azim by ibn kathir you will find this there thank you very much bring classical scholars and classical books chaka for giving credibility to this story thank you very much round two let's go bro all right thank you um uh, you've way gone way beyond your time but that is okay now friends you will notice one thing that our our, our, our brother has done is that he's gone all over but he has neglected answering the main questions but one thing towards the end that he has said that if we read muhammad hussein haqal's book uh, w- which he has not told uh, us muhammad hussein uh, haqal yeah which you not which you not told us the page it is my time you've not told us even the page to read uh, but you say that there was a revolution in ethiopia and that is why the why that's why these people fled back to to makka but remember they were wanted in makka remember they fled makka because their life was in danger and that is muhammad that instructed them to flee and go to the christians in ethiopia so if you say that in ethiopia there was a, a revolution a government revolution uh, you should produce evidence you should produce evidence of the same and if then if if let's say for 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 the purposes of debate let us agree that there was the change of power over revolution in ethiopia what then made them to come back this time even in a, a, a bigger group what made them to go to to makka only to come back to ethiopia it is because this story is very true allow me to read from 